makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, directed by Mac Benoff, and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. So chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Millions enjoy it, and you will, too. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, in my night school yesterday, I learned very interesting things about America. For instance, and they got a Portland man and a Portland Oregon. Also Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. That's America for you, Mamma Mia. Soon as a city starts to do good business, it's open up a branch in another state there. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Mamma Mia, there's lots of fields in America. There's all the fields in Texas, the cotton fields in Louisiana, wheat the fields in Nebraska. And a Marshall of Fields in a Chicago. <laughs> don't get it mixed up. But they don't grow Marshalls in there. <laughs> but it, that's just a bigger department to start a Mamma Mia. But also, I have lots of fun in a school of Mamma Mia with my friends Schultz, Olsen, Horowitz, and the most beautiful teacher in all of Chicago. Mamma Mia. Instead of being a smart with Einstein, I would rather be stupid with a Miss Spalding. <laughs> and right now, but she's getting a little bit mad at me because, well, I came late to my school three times this week, and tonight I'm going to start out early and surprise her by being the first one in the class. America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From ocean to I'm going to get you the taxi, the honey, going to be dead in the half a Mamma mia, what, hey, what's the matter, little bambina? Why are you crying? I'm lost. Oh, where's your mom? I don't know. She's lost too. Well, now, come on. Stop it, crying. Stop, stop. Here. I'm going to dry up your eyes. Here, here's my handkerchief. Go on and blow. <laughs> All right, then now tell me, what's your name? Stevie. Stevie what? Uh-huh. Where's my mommy? Hey, look, now, please, stop crying. You know where you live, Stevie? In my house. Well, where's your house? Next to the laundry. What's the laundry? The same one where my house is. <laughs> well, now, wait, wait, let me, let, me, let me see. Laundry is on the same street as the house, huh? That's right. And, uh, and they're near what? Well, what's the matter now? You're lost, too. <laughs> no, no, come on, come on. I'm going to take you to the police station, and we're going to get the two ice cream cones. Mr. Basco. I'm sorry, I'm a little Miss Spalding. You see what's happening? Never mind the excuses, Mr. Basco. That's the fourth time this week. Give him a chance. He didn't mean it, Miss Spalding. Maybe he had it a good reason. Keep quiet, Mr. Schultz. But I only thought... One more word and you go home. I've had enough from you. Wait a second. I wasn't late. Luigi was. (laughs) Miss Spalding, I'm... 
I had good reason this time. Mr. Basco, I can excuse one lateness, possibly two, but four times in one week is a little too much. Don't you like school? Like school. Well, suppose you go home tonight, Mr. Basco, and make up your mind just how important your education is to you. No, please, please, Miss Pauline, don't, don't be angry with me. Good night, Mr. Basco. Now, class, you may open your book. That's the first time, first time she's ever hollered at me. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hey, Luigi, listen, I got a three free passes to the movies. How's about you and me and Arosa going? No, thanks. All right, I stay home. Just you and Arosa, huh? No, Pasquale. Luigi, you mind if me and Arosa go? <laughs> go, Pasquale. What's wrong with you, little banana nose? You don't look so good. I'm a fine. You catching the flu? No, no flu. This is the flu season, Luigi. No, Pasquale, no flu. Can't be too sure, Luigi. Those are flu bugs that got a way of fooling you. They run around your insides and make them believe they're just cold germs, and then a bang. They rip off of their masks, and it's a goodbye, everybody. Hello, penicillin. <laughs> Man, let me feel your head, Luigi. No, stop it, that. All right, I stop. I only want... Hey, how come you home so early from the school tonight? Well, I... I got to send home. Uh, don't tell me they filled up your head with all the education it can hold. Squad, if you got to know, Miss Polly got a mad on me. Why? What happened? You forgot how to spell cat? No. I came late to school four times this week, so. She hollered at me. She, she what? She hollered at me. How? She said, Mr. Basco, supposing you go home, see just how important is you night to school. Hmm. Didn't even use a good English, eh? <laughs> what did you say to her? I asked her to forgive me. Ah, you beggar. I made a fool of yourself in front of the whole class. Took Schultz as a place. No, Pascal, it wasn't, wasn't so bad. It was worse than you think, you poor little cabbage puss. That holler could have crippled you for life. Huh? Why? Miss Spalding to you represents a womanhoodedness, right? I suppose you so. Well, when she's a holler on you, it's like all the womanhoodedness is a holler on you. I don't like to be hollered on, even by womanhoodedness. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking like a man. I don't blame you for not wanting to be hollered on. You wouldn't let the postman holler on you. No. You wouldn't let the cop holler on you. No. You wouldn't let me holler on you. Well, I'm a different. <laughs> yeah, but after all, I'm, I'm a guy of feelings. Ah, that's at a spot the way you feel it the most. Your feelings. Luigi, you ever hear about a psychology? <laughs> What's that? That's all about the mind. I once read an article that said a night school teacher should never holler on the pupils because the words hide themselves in your subconscious, and while you're sleeping, they jump out, your face turns a pale, you wake up with an inferior complexion. Pasquale, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to find out. Luigi Basco, he's the guy who's a pride. Right, Luigi. That's because it's in your blood. I knew your mom and a papa. And if there's anything that they hated, it was being hollered on. Yeah? Your papa especially. Ooh, he had a terrible temper. The worst of the Castellamare. I remember once some neighbor, Philip, came around. He began to tease your papa while he was milking the cow. What the papa did? He aimed the cow at Philip and gave him a white Christmas in the middle of June. <laughs> That's all right, Luigi. Come on, forget about a night school. The only real education that comes from my life, anyway. You really think so, Pasquale? Sure, look at me. Pasquale? No, I'm not so sure. Oh, stop. If you got a million dollars in the bank, the tellers are never going to ask you what happened in 1729. Maybe you're right, Pasquale. Hello, Luigi. Hello, 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 Hello,
not going to be happy. Tomorrow yeah. you come in on time and she's going to forget the whole thing. I don't know if I'm coming to school with my shirt, sir. What? Now you're acting like a child, Luigi. I don't know, I'm a child. I'm sorry. But believe me, Luigi, you are taking the whole thing too much to heart. Well, she she had no right to, to chase me out without listening to me first. Why, uh, why did you come late tonight, Luigi? Well, I don't have to tell nobody. But you could tell us, Luigi. We're your friends. The little boy was lost, so I'm, I took him to, to the police station. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Well, you should have turned him over to his draft board. Honestly, the way some... The way some mamas watch their children, you think they grew on trees. Yeah, I think that's where Marilyn Monroe came from. Ach, such limbs. <laughs> so use your head. Luigi is in no mood for yokes. But, but no, 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 go on, Schultz. Say what do you want. I'm, 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 you're fine. Luigi, listen to me. Forgot what you said before about not coming in tomorrow. That's just foolish talk. Education is education. I wish I'm, not only am I not to coming in tomorrow, I'm, I'm never coming back to school. Oh, you, you, you better think it over, Luigi. Never coming back to school? But this is terrible. Who am I going to copy from? <laughs> ah, look, you little dumb cop. You are coming to school tomorrow, even if we got to come in here and drag you out by the feet. No, no, sir, no, sir, sir. My mind isn't made up. Look, fellas, let's not talk about it for a while. Luigi, how about playing a little pinochle? I uh, could teach you uh, chess, Luigi. No, no, friends, I'm, I'm a little bit tired, and I think I'm... Well, I'm going to listen to the radio or my Caruso records and... Well, then I'm going to go to sleep. Well, all right. Maybe you're going to feel different tomorrow, Luigi. I don't think so, sure, sir. Good night, Luigi. Good night, I'll see you. Good, Good night, night, Luigi. Good night, friends. Well, I think I'm, I'm going to turn on the radio. That's no good. Gonna listen to Caruso. She should she should have never have hollered on me. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's an easy way to get more enjoyment and satisfaction out of the things you do each day. Keep a package of delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum handy and chew a stick from time to time. You see, chewing on a good smooth piece of gum just naturally helps you feel better and enjoy what you're doing. The easy chewing action sort of relaxes you and makes things go smoother and pleasanter for you. Besides, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum tastes good. It's refreshing, delicious, and really satisfying. Sweetens your breath, too. So enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Get a few packages and always keep some handy. Now, let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, it's, it's a three days since I stopped my night school and it feel like a three years. Last night I stood outside of the school the building, look up on the fourth floor to Miss Pauline's class. Well, I thought maybe she's going to look down and maybe apologize to me for hollering, but I wait and nothing is happening, so I walk off of the sidewalk into the street. Maybe she's going to see me better there. Nothing happens. So I walk further into the street, then further and further. What's happen? After half hour, the cop is give me a ticket for Jay walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I'm made up in my mind, I'm never going to go back to school unless 
Miss Balninger comes to me first. Hello, little cabbage puss. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, it's good to see you home in the nighttime, Luigi. How's about you and me playing a little canazza? No, thanks, Pasquale. I, I, I just feel like to sit here and... Uh, just to sit. Sure, sure. We got the whole night in front of us, huh, Luigi? That's all right, Pasquale. You don't ever miss that at night school, do you, Luigi? Oh, no. I don't blame you. School ain't no place for grown-up people. In America, school is a place where the mother sends her kids so she can shop in a piece. How's the antique business, Luigi? So-so. You sure you wouldn't like to play a little canazza? Not enough, Pasquale. Uh-huh. I always said, Luigi, the only education you get is not from a school, but from talking with the people. Just like you and me talking now, Luigi. Yeah, I'm learning a lot, to Pasquale. <laughs> sure. Hey, what do you think about inflation, Luigi? And I think uh, it raises the prices. <laughs> That's right. And you know why? Why? Because of the dollar today is only worth a half a dollar. And you know why it's only worth a half a dollar? Why? Inflation. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, what's your new arithmetic, Luigi? Arithmetic? Yeah. Did Einstein discover any new numbers lately? Squally, what are you talking about? School to talk, Luigi. Pasquale? What? How is it just a thing in School ain't the only place where, where I can get education. Now, that's what I've been trying to tell you. We keep a sitting and talking to each other every night like this. Or something is bound to rub off on us. Squally, <laughs> we could have sit for a hundred years. The only thing is going to rub off on us is the chair. <laughs> well, you just said to yourself, a school ain't the only place for education. That's right. But Squally, think. Where did Abraham Lincoln get his education? Lincoln High School? <laughs> no, no. He's a teacher himself. No, no, remember, Pasquale, little log of cabin books. He's a bottle from neighbors, a long knife. He's a stayed up by, by the candle and, and teaching him himself. Yeah, that's right. I saw the movie. Pasquale, why, 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 why can't I do what a Lincoln did? Luigi, I don't think a foreigner can become a president. <laughs> but, Pasquale, you know, I'm glad that we talked tonight because you give me a big idea. I'm going to educate myself just like Lincoln. How? Well, Chicago is a big, big city, Pasquale, and, and they got a free lectures and a museums and a planetariums, and, and they got a free libraries and millions of books. And then you see, Pasquale, if, if education is going to come to you, then, well, you you, you got to go and, 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 and run after it. I suppose so. Hey, where are you going, Louis? I'm going to look in the paper now and see what they're giving a big lecture tonight. Come on, Pasquale, maybe you're going to go with me, huh? To a lecture? No, nothing to do. No, here, here, wait, look, there's a place here, Egypt. Egypt, that's a free lecture. Says a free? Yeah. Maybe I will go along. It never hurts to get them all brains. Therefore, as may be seen, the most ancient relics of antiquity in Egypt are the Paleolithic tools of flint found on the lower desert plateau at the head of the wadis that debauch into the Nile Valley throughout its length. Hey, Luigi, he's all very intelligent, but I don't understand or nothing. That's a funny, Pasquale. I'm still trying to figure out if he's talking English. The Acrurian coup de poing, or hand axe. Hey, Luigi, what's this coup de poing? Huh? The coup de poing, what is that? I think it's something you get in the ice cream parlor. <laughs> These ancient tools are often deeply patinated by the wind and sun of the ages that have elapsed since they were made. The people who used them evidently lived on the desert margin of the valley where there was as yet no cultivation. Luigi, it's it wonderful to be sopping up intelligence in your head like a sponge. Mm. Uh, it's right, Pasquale. You got a real sponge head. <laughs> 
belong to an older time when no doubt the climate was different. Well, I'm going home. There was probably, however, an endless man in a here without shade for the... How you like that? I can't holler on him. Now i got to wait till he wakes up. Excuse me, Mr. Library. Yes, can I help you? I think so. I'm, 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 I'm like to educate myself, just like Abraham Lincoln. Only I'm, I'm, I don't know where to start, but maybe you know. Huh? Well, what are you interested in? Uh, everything. Right now in history, I um, know everything up to the Civil War. Geography, I know up to the, 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 the rain of fall in Africa. Civics, I'm a smart up to the city water department. <laughs> and the spelling I can spell up to Mississippi, that's if, if I'm not too nervous. <laughs> uh, but maybe you can fill in on me what's, what I'm missing. It. Sir, we have about 50,000 books on our shelves. You decide what subject you'd like to start with, and perhaps I can help you. All right. Uh, history. American? No, no, I, I'm a donor getting my citizen papers for three years. <laughs> I'm in American history. Oh, sure. And you're interested in the period after the Civil War. That's right. I know all the presidents up to Mr. Lincoln. After that is the biggest space in my head. <laughs> I see. I think I know just the history book for you. Now, geography. Any particular country? How many countries have you got? <laughs> we have books covering every country in the world. Hey, look, uh, Miss Library, maybe you got just a few books that's going to teach me everything. I have an even better suggestion. What? Why don't you join a night school? Huh? No, 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 thanks, thanks. Maybe you got us some more ideas, huh? Well, there's some fine correspondence courses. What's that? Well, they have regular schools that send you lessons through the mail. Yes. Mommy, I'm going to do this. And what I don't understand, mailmen are going to tell me everything. <laughs> Well, Luigi, how's it that first mail lesson? Yeah, so it's about the al algebra, Pasquale. Huh? You can hardly speak English. What for you want to know, learn a new foreign language? Well, <laughs> Pasquale, algebra is it's arithmetic, uh, but it's got letters like a z, X, a Y, and a Z, and X. And a, the... What was wrong with a one, two, and a three? <laughs> yeah, here, explain everything in a book. Right now, I'm, I'm trying to figure out that this is a problem. Yeah, let me see it. If it takes a three men six hours to dig a hole, how long does it take a six man to dig the same hole? That's a crazy, Luigi. Crazy? So, if the first three guys had dug the hole, what did they want the other six for? <laughs> Algebra, Pasquale. Sounds like a strong union to me. <laughs> please, 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 keep it quiet a little bit. Let me learn it. All right, learn, learn. How much you paying for this post office education, Luigi? Uh, well, first the lesson is afraid. Then if I'm alike, I'm going to pay $10 a month. Yeah. $120 a year just to watch a six loafer stand around an empty hole? <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, stop breaking your head. My Rosa took this stuff in high school. No, please, Pascali, no, all no. All right, no, all right, stop that. hollering. I'm going to call her in. She's going to explain everything to you. Rosa! 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 You call me, Papa. <laughs> Rosa, where's your manners? Say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Uh, hello, Rosa. Baby, Luigi just got in. He's the first shipment of brains from the post office. Hey, see if you can help him with his homework. All right. Move over, Luigi. Let me sit down next to you. No, it's, it's, it's no use, Rosa. I'm, I'm, I'm going to decide to forget everything about this correspondence of school. Forget Luigi? You mean you're giving up all education for good? That's right, Pascal. I'm going to realize I'm, I'm going to give up for something. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to get the back of no more. But, Luigi, you haven't got me yet. Shh. Come on, Rosa. Luigi's a heartbroken over as a teacher. Oh. Well, goodbye, Luigi. Bye. And I'm, I'm going to listen to the Caruso again. Hello, Luigi. Oh, hello, it's... Oh, hello, it's... It's nice to see you again. <laughs> Must have been four days, huh? 
Come on, sit down. I'm enjoying myself a listen to Caruso. Oh, I've been pretty busy myself lately, Luigi, studying. Miss Spaulding is giving us a test next week. Miss Spaulding? Oh. What's it about? Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, Austin. Come on, come in and sit down, Austin. Join us. <laughs> Yo, how, how have you been, Luigi? You look real bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything is, is just the same, Austin. Luigi, I heard you started a correspondence course. Hello, fellow boobies. Hello, Joe. Hello. Oh, it's good to see you, Luigi. How have you been, little Wiener Schnitzel? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a fine shirt, a fine... Uh, I was just uh, just telling us in the horror was about my correspondence school. Oh, yeah? But tell me, Luigi, how do they fit the teacher into the envelope? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's really a wonderful idea, Schultz. When, <laughs> when, uh, when I think of how I'm, I'm a waste of the two years in a night to school, I, I could have kicked myself. Uh, what's, what's new with the, with the school, friend? Oh, same old stuff. you learn all of it someday in your correspondence school, Luigi. Oh, that's what I think. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Hello, Miss Spalding. Mr. Basco, you left some books in your desk last week, and this is the first chance I've had to bring them back to you. Thank you, Miss Spalding. Well, good night. No, wait, wait. Uh, Miss Spalding, you, you're looking uh, very, very pretty. Tonight, to Miss Spalding. Well, thank you, Mr. Basco. Well, it's getting late. No, Miss Spalding. <laughs> Stay a little bit, huh? Well, I can't. I'm late for my night school class. Yeah, but I was... I'm sorry. No, what night school class? We are all here. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Yeah, that's right. Sure, Miss Spalding, all of us. And it's 8.30. Time the class starts. Just half three. <laughs> well... <laughs> This is very irregular, but I suppose I can do it. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Mr. Olson? Hey, yeah. Mr. Schultz? Hail, hail, the gang's all here! Oh, 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 I'm back in the school! Mamma me, I'm back into my night school again, and, and like they say, you never really appreciate something till you lose it. Mamma me, excuse me if my writing is a little bit shaky in this letter because I, I'm, I'm writing on a bus to school. You see, my class starts in a two hours, and I'm not going to take a chance on a coming late. <laughs> You have the son, Luigi Basco, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a refreshing, delicious treat you can enjoy any time and any place. You don't have to take time out for Wrigley's Spearmint. Just slip a stick into your mouth and chew it while you're working, driving, shopping, or enjoying your favorite winter activities. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum always tastes good. It freshens your taste, gives you a nice little lift, and makes whatever you're doing more enjoyable. The natural chewing action helps keep your teeth clean and bright, too, so it helps keep your smile attractive. So for real chewing enjoyment... Plus refreshment anytime, anywhere. Always keep Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy. Remember, that's Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to be sure to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mr. Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Sipp as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olson, Lee Erickson as Stevie, and Margaret Brayton as the librarian. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin, Charles Lyon speaking this to the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>